Mesdames, Messieurs, bonjour. J'aimerais tout d'abord souhaiter la bienvenue au chef d'état-major de la défense des pays de l'OTAN et au commandant stratégique réunis aujourd'hui à Varsovie pour la dernière réunion du comité militaire en session des chefs d'état-major de la défense de 2018. Je ferai quelques remarques liminaires avant de demander au ministre polonais de la Défense, M. Marius Blasiak, de déclarer notre conférence officiellement ouverte. Firstly, a welcome to four new members of the Military Committee. Can I begin by welcoming a warm welcome to our host, General Andrzejczak, the Chief of Defence Staff from Poland. Thank you for inviting us to Warsaw and for hosting this conference. The hospitality we've received, the welcome we had last night, and the hard work your staff have put into this conference are very clear to us, and we are very grateful to you. Poland is a leading ally of our alliance that contributes greatly to our combined security. Your military minister play an active role in NATO-led missions in Afghanistan, and K4 in the Balkans, and help to guard the safety of the Baltic region, host NATO's ballistic missile defense system, contribute and host one of our enhanced forward presence battle groups, multinational Corps Northeast. I was lucky enough to visit the Corps headquarters this week and our training center in Bitkosh. These all demonstrate the solid commitment of Poland to NATO. But I would also this morning like to welcome five other new colleagues. General Ferenc Korom from Hungary, welcome. General Ilya Dakovic from Montenegro, welcome. Admiral Antonio Silva Ribeiro from Portugal, welcome Antonio. General Yasser Guler from Turkey. Welcome, my friend. And General Sir Nick Carter from the United Kingdom. Enfin, j'aimerais souhaiter la bienvenue au General André Lenata, le nouveau commandant supreme allié transformation, et au nouveau assistant secrétaire général adjoint pour les opérations Dr. John Manza. I wish all of you the very best in your new appointments, and I very much look forward to hearing your ideas and remarks, which will enrich our discussions. First, I would ask us to take a moment and pay tribute to our serving military personnel and remember the sacrifice of those men and women killed or wounded in the line of duty. This military committee is the most senior military authority in NATO, providing strategic military advice to the North Atlantic Council. The 29 Allied Chiefs of Defence gathered around this table bring a wealth of experience and expertise, responsible for translating political decisions and guidance into military strategy and recommending the measures necessary for the defence of the Alliance. We work together to safeguard the freedom and security of one billion citizens, both sides of the Atlantic. 